everyone i believe you are doing well wherever you are first and foremost i want to take this golden chance to thank you for the great effort that you are doing to this channel through your subscriptions like and also comment if this might be your first time watching me at zan kenya tv youtube channel can you take a one second and click the subscriptions button and subscribe to our youtube platform watch our videos like share and give us your opinion at the comment section below meanwhile let's still proceed to what is happening in the republic of kenya now the two sons of kenya have decided to clash among themselves that is my beloved brothers mtai nguni and miguna miguna as we know they are all doctors with grades or phds but we know that miguna was once a friend to president william samuel ruto and he was against Uhuru Megai Kenyatta. But Mutai Nguni was a close associate friend to the ex president Uhuru Megai Kenyatta. What is happening here, ladies and gentlemen, is that these people have disclosed each other. They have uh, clashed to each other when William Samuel Ruto said that the judiciary is corrupt. And now we are seeing Mutai Nguni was trying to defend uh, William Samuel Ruto about the corrupt judiciary following the president's remark during uh, what he said about the housing levy. After that, with immediate effect, Miguna Miguna reacted and uh, threw a bombshell to Mutai Nguni. This is how these people were going against each other, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dr. Miguna Miguna, Mr. At Mutai Nguni, you aren't qualified to advise anyone about corruption. You are rotten to the core. You stole public money through the NIS or NYS scandal, but you haven't been published for it. You internationally burnt down your house a few years ago and stole insurance money. Mutai Nguni replied, Dear Ruto, <laughs> you, are de you are dead right. The ju judiciary is corrupt to the core. And from the core, Kirauti Murungi fired 30 judges in 2003 for corruption. As the executive, you must drain this swamp. Do it for the people, despite the people. One man with God is majority. Drain the swamp. He concluded that way. Why do you think these people are now uh, creating differences among themselves? Number one, Miguna Miguna, as I know, is a man who always say the truth and as you know Africans they don't love the truth when you say the truth you are being plotted either to be killed or to be arrested or to be destroyed or to be assassinated and the rest I don't want to mention but this clash is emerging immediately when Ruto said that judiciary is corrupted and i think i did the analysis when he made attack at the judicial court and i said very well that one president himself knows that judges are the most corrupted people in the republic of Kenya. so he's aware and he knows that this things always happen in the Republic of Kenya. And as you know, as you can see, <laughs> Mutai Nguni is telling him clearly that you are dead right. The judiciary is corrupt. But you see, Mguna Mguna is going against Mutai Nguni and saying that Mutai Nguni is not enough to advise the president because he is among the corrupted people. So ladies and gentlemen, this is well exposed according to just writing I've displayed 
on our screen today. The real sense here is that Miguna is insisting that Mutai Nguni is also corrupted and he ought not to support or to advise the president. As the president is going against the judiciary, <laughs> Miguna is defending the corruption and want a clear notification according to my observation. Number two, Mutai Nguni and Miguna Miguna are now enemy because as you have seen there have there there is exchange of words it means that Miguna's bombshell was bitter true and Mutai Nguni was not expecting this then lastly According to my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, Miguna Miguna is exposing everyone, all, all the corrupted people in the Republic of Kenya, that they are not qualified to advise the president. And that is what happens in this government or in this our country. Those who are so-called cartels in bracket are the ones who are allowed to have voices. But those who are innocent, those who always speak the truth, they are being thrown outside, left coldness. Because they don't deserve that. The cartels are the ones who surround the judiciary. The cartels are the ones who surround uh, the head of state then we are going back to the drawing board and asking ourselves for how long will we expect development so that is what miguna miguna is saying according to that writing i've just displayed there was also a clip he was saying that truth have done nothing but because of time i can't display it here i will create time and bring it if i will finally get it but there is that clip. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the challenges we are getting in the Republic of Kenya and making this Kenya Kwanza government or any government administration not to complete their development effectively. I think I've done enough on this today's analysis and that is what I had to share with you again at this point. I want to still I still want to appreciate you sorry for the great effort you are doing to this channel kindly since stay tuned by watching our videos subscribe if you've never subscribed and also give us your opinion at the comment section below stay tuned as I'm Kenya TV YouTube channel we always try to bring you what happens across the country and also across the world Bye bye ladies and gentlemen as you hope to meet on another analysis. Thank you very much.